This is a story about the tension between the way of forgiveness. In the story that follows this, Peter asks, how many times should I forgive? And Jesus says, 70 times 7. It's between the tension about forgiveness and the need for dealing with conflicts, for church discipline, for managing the community in ways that maintain peace. The structure of this set of teachings is first, one-on-one, first episode, second, two or three, and the church, and then the last episode is about the power of the community and its authority. The verbal threads that tie these episodes together, the first is listens, not listen. So the last sentence of the first episode, if the member listens to you, then the next one, if you are not listened to. Likewise, at the beginning of the uh, second sentence in that second episode, if the member refuses to listen, and that's stated twice, then the decision. The other uh, link is the evidence of two or three witnesses and where two or three are gathered in my name, so that that two or three is another verbal formula that is present in the story. If you recognize those verbal threads, those formulas, it'll be helpful in learning the story. The dynamic of this is then, first of all, to go to the limit in order to be reconciled. So, to go and point out the fault one-on-one, and if that gets dealt with, then the problem's been resolved. Then to take two or three, and then to take it to the church. This is a description of a mode of conflict resolution that pushes the limits of uh, what most communities will do. It stands in contrast to the way that most problems are dealt with, which is by rumor and by the building up of resentment of people talking to each other about something that somebody has done and never talking to them. So it stands in contrast to the basic way that most communities deal with conflict or with problems that have happened. So rather than that process, what is recommended here is the simple process of going and naming the problem and then listening and inviting the person who has committed the offense to listen and to have a chance to respond first to one and then to two or three and then to the community. One of the things that receives the greatest, uh, that receives emphasis in this, however, is this saying, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Now, this is clearly framed in the context of Jewish communities. And Gentiles were people who, by definition, were not Jews and that they would have nothing to do with. And if there was anything that they would have even less to do with, it was a tax collector who worked for the Romans, who made a lot of money on the poverty of uh, the people who were being taxed and who benefited then from this situation of oppression. The tension in this story is then, how do you deal with these problem people? Every community has them. These things happen in every community. And here, there are clear recommendations about how to deal with those problems.